Baby girl, I'm a bad man. I'm here to steal this RV. I'm gonna steal this trailer. Hi, I'm Christy Michael with Long Long Honeymoon and today we are gonna be talking about RV theft or better yet, how to prevent RV theft, or at least slow them down and make your RV look less appealing when there's a thief out there looking for an RV to steal. So we've talked to you before about hitch locks and today we're gonna to talk to you about a wheel lock. This is specifically the Trimax Universal Wheel Chalk Lock and it's the TCL75. This is the one that we have purchased for our Airstream travel trailer. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and then Sean's gonna give you a demo of how it works. So this thing is pretty heavy. It, I would say it's about five to eight pounds. It's made out of powder coated steel. And then this red section here, which is what actually locks onto your wheel, is rubber coated. So it's not gonna scratch your wheels. It's not gonna do any sort of damage, you know, by laying on your wheel. So that's nice. It has a funky little lock here. And they say that it's a pick resistant lock, meaning it's harder to pick than a regular lock. So we'll see what we think about that. <laughs> The other unique thing about this wheel lock is it also functions as a chalk. When you lock it around your wheel, this feature is on the ground and so it will keep your RV from rolling. So it's kind of a two-in-one, which is kind of cool. It's about a $50 item, so it's sort of a less expensive option if some of those hitch locks were out of your budget. This is an option for you. All right, guys, so unfortunately you're stuck looking at my ugly mug for the demo portion of this video. I want to show you a few features of this thing and we'll put it on our Airstream and see how it looks. Uh, with it in the unlocked position here, you can slide it back and forth. In fact, I'm going to take it apart and see, you may be able to see there's a little metal tab on the inside of the lock. And I kind of like this design actually, because you can adjust it on your wheel very easily as we will see in a moment. So let's go over to the Airstream and put it on the wheel. And you have to be careful when you're carrying this thing around because if I were to let loose, it would probably fall out and break my foot. And I've already had one broken foot. I don't want another. Now let's lower down to the wheel. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put this thing onto your wheel. I'm taking it all the way apart and I guess the hardest part is simply getting the back in the proper position. It's never quite as simple as you would hope. You just got to kind of play with it a little bit until it's nice and snug up against your wheel. And to lock it, you simply depress the little locking mechanism on the top. And voila, our trailer is locked and chocked. Now they include three keys, as you can see here, which is nice. And you can very easily pop this thing open uh, with the key. See, it's so easy. Yeah. And there we go. So it's open and I can take it off. So press to lock and as you can see, it's not coming off. And so the trailer's not moving forward now. Uh, we might talk about weaknesses of this thing. Obviously on a twin axle trailer, in theory, a thief could simply remove your wheel with the wheel lock attached and still tow your trailer without a wheel. At least it works that way with our Airstream. You could tow it a short distance. So that's one way that a thief could defeat these wheel locks. Now, if you have a single axle trailer, this will probably work even better for you because when you think about it, if a thief were to remove the wheel from one side of your single axle trailer, well, they're just gonna have to come up with another wheel in order to steal the trailer. The locking mechanism is said to be pick resistant. Nothing is impenetrable, nothing is perfect. This is definitely going to slow a thief down quite a bit, and that's the whole point of the lock 
and shock. So I think it's a pretty handy little device. I like the simplicity of it. Now I think the best method is to use one of those coupler locks. But personally, if my trailer was in a high risk environment, I would be most comfortable having a lock at the coupler and a lock at the wheel as well. Something else we should point out about this wheel lock, you can use it on many different vehicles depending upon which size you choose. They have two different sizes. We chose the larger of the two and it easily fits not only on our trailer but also our truck Seymour. So if you're parking your vehicle in an area where you want added security, this is a pretty nice option. The Ronald McDonald paint scheme not only discourages any would-be hamburglers out there, it also helps you avoid campground humiliation. You don't want to forget this thing is on your wheel and attempt to drive away. So that's it guys. I'm Sean, and that was Christy. We're long, long honeymoon taking a look at the Trimax TCL 75 or something like that. Feel free to post a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say about this product. If you're new here, please subscribe because we'll be reviewing more RV theft prevention products in the very near future. Until next time, lo lo ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.